this is America, homeland of a people strong in self-reliance, proud in the way of free men. A land where liberty, equality, and justice are living, breathing symbols of a way of life. Where the right of free speech, freedom of the press, and the right to worship without hindrance or let are a nation's birthright. A nation without master, without slave. Where the right to education and learning are limited only by ambition, where old age is venerated and loved, not beaten and destroyed, and where the right to the pursuit of happiness is open to all, regardless of race, creed, or color, where music and the other arts are not restricted by the word verboten. Tell you, Bob, you're crazy. Now listen, you can't do this to me. Now take it easy, Parky. You're not my mother. You're only my manager. And my mind's made up, so save your wind. Hello, Bob. Hello, Rita. Say, Rita, see if you can't talk some sense into this guy. Why, he is the most quiet, will you? You'll get your 10% commission just the same. Say, what's cooking? The man is out of his mind. That's what's cooking. Don't mind me, folks. I've got all day to rehearse. Now, how you go? Yeah, he's a new contract for 4,000 a week with international pictures, and he won't sign it. 4,000 a week for a crooner? <whistles> what's the matter with that pretty boy? Yes, Bob, what's the matter? He's ruining me. The man is ruining me. Now, wait a minute, Parky. This is my own gossip. Let me tell it. I'm signing up, all right. Good. But with the Army. Oh, boy, the Yanks are coming. Yes. <laughs> yeah, the Yanks are coming. Oh, uh, would I like to be a one-man army and clean up this whole mess right away? Well, gang, I came to say goodbye. Bob, that's great stuff. Let me be the first to congratulate you. Yeah, and let me be the first to call you a chump. Gil, this is war. Surely you don't mean that. Certainly, Parky's right. You're a sap. Go ahead and list. But they'll never get me. Not as a private, anyway. Oh, yeah? Well, maybe you haven't heard of the draft. I'm way ahead of you. My kid brother's in the Army. He's a first-class private, so what? One first-class sucker in my family's plenty. When I go, I'll have something up here. A captain, a major. Get it? Well, it's nice work. You can get it. I'll get it. I've got connections. But you'll work your way up from the ranks. You bet I will. Gil. Yeah? The new number I wrote, the Yanks are coming. It all fits in. Let's do it for Bob and a kind of he's going to be a yank, huh? The band doesn't know it. They do know it. We've been rehearsing it. Well, I don't know about it. Please, Gil, it'll be Bob's. Yeah, my swan song. Civvies. Well, all right, let's get it over with. Come on. Let's give out with the sentiment for Glamour Boy. Times have been tough. This war has been rough, but we will see it through. There is work that must be done, and it's up to everyone. And this means you and you. Let's pass the word that you have heard that the Yanks are coming right away. Ten million strong, we'll march along. For we'll not be happy till we right the wrong. We've got a day, and we can't wait. We're on our way to make the Axis pay. We must do this now or never and be free forever. Yes, the Yanks are coming right away. Let's pass the word that you have heard that the Yanks are coming right away. Ten million strong will march along, or we'll not be happy till we right the wrong. We've got a day, and we can't wait. We're on our way to make the Axis pay. We must do this now or never and be free forever. Yes, the Yanks are Oh, boy, that was 
was terrific. Sammy, I'm sure you have a hit. You said it. Thanks. Uh, do you mind breaking up the mush? We've got work to do. Well, so long, Rita. I just want to tell you how lovely you look, especially in that dress. Ah, oh, parting is such sweet sorrow. Wake up, you mugs. We're through playing for pretty boy. Say, pardon me, are you the doctor? Well, yes. Say, doctor, I got an idea how you can win the whole war. You have? Yes, sir. Well, that's splendid. What is it? Don't take Bob Reynolds. Really? Yes. Well, what's the matter with Bob? You give the whole army measles. When he was a small boy, he had the measles, he never got rid of them. Oh, well, we'll cure him of that, all right. Yeah, he, he also got bad tinsels. Tinsels? Yes, sir. And this arm. Well, what's the matter with that? He can't lift it at all. Oh? No. I was in a restaurant with him, and he couldn't even pick up a small check. Oh, my. Seems serious. That's nothing. This foot. Now, ah, wait a minute. I suppose yeah. He's got more corn than anybody in America. Well, we'll fix that up all right. You will? Yes. Say, maybe you're right. You know something? I think that everybody should get into this thing. Say, listen. Do you think they would take me? Well, why not? You're big, strong. You look intelligent. Is he kidding? That's murderous. Fellas, once again from the beginning. Okay. Gil, that passage. Sammy, why don't you mind your own business? I know what I'm doing. But when I wrote the arrangement, I meant it for the... Now, well, look, let's get this straight once and for all, Sammy. This is Bill Whitney, and I'm playing the music. Okay, if you... Sammy, if it wasn't for you and your arrangements, he wouldn't have a band. Thought you could use it. Onions. Onions, do I? Well, today I don't want any onions. Here, Spike. Onions or no onions, he still stinks. Sorry, Gil. I'll, I'll change it for you. Oh, never mind. Maybe if I go on a hunger strike, I can get some music out of these palookas. Hello, Peggy, honey. Morning, Sammy. Looks like Gil's blood pressure is up again. Yeah, 212 in the shade. I can't understand why Rita takes it from him. Maybe she's in love with him. Oh. <laughs> you must think a lot of him yourself. By the way he treats you, talk about what she takes. He thinks less of you than a dog does of a flea. So, <laughs> I'm making a living the hard way. Well, that's this crazy business I'm in. But if you dislike him so much, what's keeping you around here? This is my business. Only a cigarette girl to you. But at least I'm not working for that lug. Oh, I'm sorry, Sammy. But it makes me so mad to think of all the talent you have and Gil not even giving you a tiny break. Yeah, I know, I know. And it burns me up to think that you have to hustle cigarettes around here when you should be singing with one of the top bands in the country. All we need, Sammy, is a couple of breaks. And we'll get them, too. Anyone who can write music like you just simply can't hide his blue notes under a bushel. You're a honey, Peggy. And if I do get a break, know what you're gonna get. I'll take my last guess first. A husband?
tell you what it is. Nah, what are you beefing about? This is Finch. Oh, I guess I'm a little soft. Ah, you guys are a bunch of cream puffs. Ah, cut it out, Butch. Now, you fellows are doing fine. Keep it up, we'll have the best squad in E Company. That's great, Corporal. But I never knew it took so much drilling to drill a Jap. What I'd like to know is, when do we sail for Tokyo? Any day now. You... you mean we're going overseas? No, sweetheart, we're going to a big party. How are we going overseas? That's what you joined the Army for, didn't you? Uh, I didn't join. I was drafted. Say, are you a commissioned officer? State salary. <laughs> I'm so funny. <laughs> oh, take it easy, kid. They're only ribbing you. Oh, they were kidding, eh? Sure, they're only ribbing. Say, listen, Frank, why don't you snap out of it? We're going to get leave tomorrow, and then you can go home and visit with your folks. Well, and, uh, my people are in the Middle West. Oh, okay, then. Well, listen, let's go downtown. We'll have a lot of fun. I guarantee you, you'll have a good time, too. Oh, thanks a lot. You bet. Why are you looking at me like that? You know, I ought to bust you right in the nose. Hey, wait a minute, fella. What, you're crazy. I, I don't even know your girl. Don't give me that. It came to me like a flash when I seen you sideways. What do you mean? I should have been superstitious of you the first time I met you. Don't lie. You're that movie actor. Me? Yeah, you. Your name's Robert Reynolds, ain't it? <laughs> oh. Well, just an unfortunate coincidence, that's all. <laughs> oh, I get it. You think I'm that two-bit moving picture actor, don't you? Well, ain't you? Of course not. Gee, you sure look like him, anyhow. Well, if you say you ain't him, all right, but that fancy pants ham, I hate the pieces. I once took my girl to a movie, and she saw him in a picture. Well, I ain't got no more Maisie. Oh, boy, was she a Lulu. What, she was only trying to make you jealous, that's all. Imagine any girl trying to throw you overboard for some celluloid Romeo, like Robert Reynolds. On the level? On a level, Butch. You know, Bob, you ain't such a bad number. I guess I ought to be ashamed of myself for blowing my tapper. Come on, let's you and me go to town and I'll buy a beer, huh? Oh, uh, no thanks. Not even for a beer. It's too far to town. Why, it's only four miles, it's a cinch. I used to do twice that much road work before breakfast when I was in training. Oh, a fighter. Hey, now I remember you. You used to box over at the Legion Stadium. That's right, that's me. I used to fight for the soldiers in the last war. Now I'm fighting with them in this war. It's a strange world, ain't it? Yeah, and a lot of strange people in it, too. You know, for three years I've been trying to get a match with the champ. I think he's scared of me. That's why he joined the Army. But he can't run out of me now. That's why I'm in the Army. I'll get a match with him yet. You better be in condition. Are you kidding? Me in condition? Why, I'm in a pink. Why, I hit him with shape. First, I hit him a right cross to the jaw. Then a left hook. And then an uppercut. And then a left hook. Oh, cheap, creepers. It was an accident, Sarge. So help me. I didn't mean to hit you. You. Why, you ugly baboon? Don't you know I could have you shot? You're going to suffer for this, you big hunk of cauliflower. Corporal! Corporal! Yes, Sergeant. I'm going to recommend to the CO that this Quisenberry here... Gets... Sergeant! But Sergeant, he didn't do it on purpose. He was only shadow boxing. Yeah, that's right. Oh, so I'm a shadow, huh? No, but... Uh, you got me see... wrong, Sergeant. Stop arguing. Sergeant, uh, these men have the makings of good soldiers. They're working hard. Maybe... Uh, maybe I should forget the whole thing. Oh, it won't happen again? Yes, Sergeant, it won't happen again. All right, keep quiet. This time you're going to get off easy. Thanks a million. But I'm going to see to it that you do get 30 days fatigue duty and be confined to quarters for a week, understand? Gee, that's mighty decent of you, Sergeant. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be twice as decent. You can keep your little pal company. See? Oh, how I hate that guy. I wish you had a brother so I could hate him, too. Oh, my little chum, how's your gin rummy? You mean my old man? Ah, he's in jail. Hello? Oh, hello, Bob. Oh, isn't that mean? And I'd wanted to see you so much. Say, that's an idea. Certainly. I'd love it. Yes? I'll be right down. Yes, I'm driving. Oh, that's sweet, Bob. All right, I'll hurry. Goodbye. I, I'm sure that that would be splendid. Oh, that tells me. 
Don't you think my little thought just too, too divine, Colonel? Uh, it's Captain, Mrs. Van Arsdale. Oh, but it should be Colonel, or at least General. You're so, so understanding. Thank you. I'll be glad to take up your offer. Say, Sergeant, do uh, you know where I could find Bob Reynolds? I'm sorry, but I don't know the young man. What? You never heard of Bob Reynolds, the movie star? The Bob Reynolds? Sure, he's making a personal appearance for Uncle Sam, and he don't even know it. And and he's really here in, in this camp, Mr. Uh... Uh, I used to be Parky Caucus, but the priorities made me cut it down to Parky. Yes, miss, he's here in person. Oh, Mother dear, we simply must have him for our show. Mr. Parky will help us, won't you? Well, that's what they call me, helping hand Parky. I help everybody, including human beings. <laughs> but in this case, I think you better make your deal with him direct. And I'll go okay it later. You see, I got so much influence with him, it don't mean a thing. Oh, could we please, please have him? Well, we'll see. I'll do the best I can. Oh, how nice. Let's all go and find him. Isn't this exciting? Uh, just a moment. Oh. Locate Private Bob Reynolds and have him meet me in front of the recreation hall right away. Oh, Bob Reynolds! Oh, Mother, I'm so thrilled. They look like a couple of cats in the Canary Islands. Hello, Rita. What's on your mind? You lucky person, I'm going to take you to lunch, didn't you know? Oh, but I... Uh-uh, never mind, you're all ready. Come on, let's go. I'm sorry, Gil, I, I'm driving down to camp to meet Bob. Well, you're not running after him, are you? Why not? Dazzled by uniform. I get it. But tell me something. Why doesn't he come after you? Oh, it's a long story. Skip it. Skip it? Why don't you skip him, that grandstander, making a play for publicity? I'm in a hurry, Gil. I've no time to argue. You don't have an argument. Look, I'm leaving. Are you going to stay here? I'm going to stay here until you change your mind. All right, then make yourself at home. You'll find all the latest magazines. So I see. And in case you get lonesome, there's an egg in the ice box. Of course, I know you're very modest, Mr. Reynolds, but this is war. And I know our little show is going to be a great success. So uplifting for the boys. Well, you see, I, I was thinking that. Oh, marvelous! We simply must have your help, mustn't we, Vicky? Oh, yes, Mother dear. But don't say no, Bobby, please. Well, uh, certainly not. And this is our recreation hall. I see all of your pictures. Why, goodness me, you're my favorite star. And Vicky's too, isn't he, Vicky? Oh, yes, indeed. And remember, my name's Vicky. V is for victory, you know. Reynolds. Yes, sir. If you like, I can arrange to have you transferred to my office as my uh, assistant in charge of entertainment. Oh, thank you very much, sir, but... And because of your ability, you'd be relieved from further drilling. But, sir, I... Oh, how wonderful, Sergeant! <laughs> but, sir, I, I enjoy... I enjoy drilling, sir, and... I joined up to pack a gun, not to yodel my way back to Yokohama. Oh, Bobby, that's so wonderful of you. We must all do our little bit, and I want to do mine. Uh, excuse me, please. Why, uh, oh, Frida. This being confined to your quarters is a delightful punishment, isn't it? But, but you don't understand it. I, I can understand why you were too busy to meet me in town. Well, they, they don't mean a thing to me, honestly. They're just a couple of crumbs from the upper crust. Yes, 
I noticed the younger Crumb was uh, giving her all to your war effort. Oh, don't be silly. Now, you just wait right here, and I'll get out of all of this. Oh, Bobby, darling. You'll never get out of that. Oh, Rita. Go ahead. Sing for yourself a Bobby. You don't have to put the B on me. Go ahead. I'll wait. Gosh, thanks. Look at Where's Reynolds? You heard me? Where is he? Uh, 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 Reynolds? Oh, uh, oh, I remember. I think he went out with the general to go promenade. Yeah, well, I'll find him. And when I do... You know where he is? Oh, yes, he went over to the recreation hall. Oh, why don't you say so? Now, wait a minute. Oh, it's a good thing you didn't say while the Sarge was here. Hey, where are you going? Out to find him. But you can't. You're confined to quarters. So I quarters, motors. I gotta protect my buddy, don't I? Oh, you know that song you sang in your last picture? Yes. Well, that's the one I'd love to hear you sing. Oh, please do. Go ahead, Reynolds. Oh, yeah. yes, sir. Say, Charlie. Yes, Bob. You know the accompaniment to this song. Will you play it for me? Well, I'll do my best. Thank you. Mystifying, my darling, I wonder who is to blame. There is no denying, my darling, I'm just a moth and you're the flame. Please keep my heart in mind, for true love's hard to find. Why promise that we'll never part? If you're only fooling, don't fool with my heart. Won't you please be kind for all who love are blind? And I have loved you from the start. If you're only fooling, don't fool with my heart. You must have the wrong conception of what a sweetheart should be. And I have known from its inception that you've been fancy free. But I have one desire to keep our love on fire, so kindle it when we're apart. And if you're only fooling, don't fool with my heart. Please keep my heart in mind, for true love's hard to find. Why promise that we'll never part? If you're only fooling, don't fool with my heart. Won't you please be kind for all who love are blind? And I have loved you from the start. If you're only fooling, don't fool with my heart. You must have the wrong conception of what a sweetheart should be. And I have known from it. What do you think of my He's all right, huh? He's phenomenal. But I, he's good. Oh, so you know, fancy free. it makes me think of my girl, Maisie. I have one desire to keep our love on fire. So kindle it when we're apart. And if you're only fooling, don't fool. to me. Want to sell the pipes. That's my buddy. Yes, Hollywood's going to miss him. You ain't kidding, sister. Hollywood's sure going to... Who's going to miss him? Hollywood. Why, he's one of the biggest stars that Hollywood... But everybody knows that. Oh, sure, sure. Everybody but me. 
Pardon me, sister. I got a date with a catastrophe. Oh, you just must take charge of our little show. Indeed, after hearing your angelic voice, we'll never, never let you go. Will we, Vicky? No, Mother dear. Never. Well, I, uh, think I... Oh, darling. Why don't you give up and give out? Reynolds, the Army certainly needs plenty of men to pack guns. But we also need men like you behind the men who pack the guns. Why don't you take hold of this and help to put it over? Is that an order, sir? Well, not exactly. I think I understand, sir. Uh, could I have permission to leave, sir? Of course. And I must be leaving, too. Good day to all of you. Oh, you've been just too, too wonderful, Commander. Now, isn't this pretty? Only disobeying orders, that's all. I'm gonna report you birds to the CO, and you'll probably spend the rest of your life in the guardhouse. I hope. Listen, Sergeant, it was all my fault. I punch it was my fault. Say, what is this, a sister act? Well, I'm gonna finish it. Come on! Wait a minute, Sergeant, I... Get going! Oh, South, give us one more chance. Come on! with your commanding officer for 24 hours leave, Reynolds, as you requested. I'm sorry all this happened. Thank you, sir, and for getting us out of the guardhouse. I'm gonna need this 24 hours to square myself with a certain young lady. You just refer her to me. Pass for you, too, Quisenberry. Oh, oh, thanks, Cap, uh, sir, uh, Captain. Don't mention it. Hey, he ain't a bad guy. You know, Bob, you're not a bad guy, either. 
I think I'll write my girl Maisie a letter and apologize, because on account of you, I won't smack the rat on a kisser. You know, Butch, you're not such a bad guy yourself. Hey, you remind me a lot of this Maxie Rosenblum. No, no, anybody but him. Hello, Beethoven. You look like someone poisoned your pup. Now, don't try and change the subject. Where were you last night after you left here? Out. Who with? That comes under the heading of strictly personal. Oh, honey, don't do this to me. You know how I am about you. We could go places together, and we'll make a swell team. Like, uh, ham and eggs? Oh, Peggy, I've got to know where I stand. Listen. We must sacrifice a lot through this emergency. Be prepared. Be prepared. I'd make any sacrifice to help democracy. But one thing I insist, they keep you off the list. I must have priorities on your life. That's one thing I've got to be certain of. In love or war, you need defense, and I must do my Heart. And even though it don't make sense, I'll build a fence around your heart. I must have priorities on your love. My only ally is the moon above. Now you've got lips to lend and lease, so I won't have a moment's peace until I get priorities on your love. Must have priority on your love. I don't mean maybe that's one thing I've got to be certain of. Pretty baby, listen, dear, I'll be right here to answer all alarms. If you're the one in trouble, hon, give me a call, a call to arms. I must have priorities on your night. To have that in our bill of rights. Without you near, my spirit's dumb. I just can't cash and carry on until I get priorities on your love, baby. I must have priorities on your love. Do you mean it? I must have. The mites are playing. Because the big bad cat's been away to lunch. Yeah, but I don't like it. Don't be mean, Gil. Mean? Are you turning against me the way the rest of them are around here? Of course not, Gil. No one's really against you. Oh, darling, I've got to talk to you, man to man. May I? Of course, Gil. Anytime. What's on your mind? Oh, am I so bad? Nobody seems to understand me or like me around here. Oh, Gil, I understand you. I know what makes you tick. Oh, you're grand. Do you mind if I kind of get a little personal? Of course not, Gil. This way, Butch. Get a load of the invasion. Rita, I'd like to explain about yesterday. Don't bother. I saw your explanation, and she's very cute. Will you listen to me? Why should I? Your affairs mean nothing to me. Is that so? Well, I'm going to make you listen, see? Soldier boy, Rita's still a civilian and doesn't take orders from the army. Keep out of this, sweetheart. Oh, who do you think you are, you lad? down. Even my own brother couldn't get away with a thing like that. Don't oh, Butch. That was a tactical error. I'm sorry, Bob, but we're buddies, ain't we? Buddies? So that's it. You brought that big ape down here to pick a fight with Gil. I did not. Don't speak to me. Don't be silly, Rita. I could have... Mr. Reynolds, will you please leave and take that uniform baboon with you? Look, my little Juliet, I'd just as soon smack you in a kiss or two. I'm proud of my uniform. Probably the best suit of clothes he ever had in his life. You ain't kidding, brother. Butch, let's go A.W.O.L. from here. 
Yeah, let's look up that Richie dam. I can go for the old lady. All right, you monks, let's go. You've had enough time for lunch. Gil. Yeah? I want to talk to you. I have no time. Save it, will you please? It won't keep. Will you please save it, Sammy? I'm quitting. Atta boy. You can't quit. This says I can. But, my boy, I have a contract. Says you. Yes. Your eyesight's all right. I'm being drafted. Sammy's going in the army. Will you cut it out, fellas? Cut, on, cut it, will you? Sammy, you can't do this to me. That's what makes Sammy run towards Tokyo. But you can get 30 days deferment. You can be reclassified. You might get out of it entirely. Ooh, listen to him wheedle now. Gil, I've taken an awful lot from you. I'm not going to wait 30 days, and I'm not going to get reclassified. I still have a chance to enlist, and I'm going to take it today. All right, you double-crosser. You probably think I can't get along without you. Gil, please don't act this way. That's the only act he knows. Well, what do you want me to do? Beg him to stay? You'll regret this. There goes our terrific arrangements. You mean there goes our band. So long, gang. Seeing you, Sammy. Good luck to you all. What do you say? Oh, Pete, how about you? Okay. Where are you guys going? Me and the boys are afraid Sammy might get lonesome. And just so he doesn't, we're going to join up to keep him company. Well, what happens to the band? Put it in mothball. Hey, get yourself an organ, you monkey. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's about the finish. And I tell you, it's a great idea, sir. And we got the hottest band in the country. And Sammy is one of the sweetest arrangers that ever cleft a bar with a note. It's a natural. And as long as we're going to do it, why not have a real show? Of course, Reynolds, but what do you want me to do? Well, sir, uh, couldn't these men enlist as a group? And that'll keep us all together. Well, I understand, but it's a bit irregular. However, I'll do the best I can. Needing a sweater, huh? Bundles for Bob, huh? No, not for Bob. Oh, you hope he freezes to death, huh? Parky, please. You seen this, I suppose? Pretty, isn't it? Ah, snap out of it. You can't fool your Uncle Parky. Parky, I... I know, you're eating your heart out for him. You win. But what can I do about it? You certainly can't run after him. Listen, kid, there's a war on. And when there's a war on, everything is fair, even in love. You kind of like him, don't you? Yes, I do. Then what are you waiting for? Take my advice. Don't be a lily in the valley. Go out and bring him back alive. Turn the other cheek if you have to. And if at first you don't succeed, you gather no moss. Rita, I'm telling you, he's really worth it. I know he's worth it. What about that Van Arsdale girl? It's up to you. Make him look before he leaps, and he'll land right in your lap. Parky, you're a darling. That's the stuff. I knew you would have a lot of good sense in that pretty little head of yours. If you'll only fake it along through here and hold this note. Oh, Bobby. You must think I'm terribly stupid. All right, let's not go into that again. Now, look, 
right down here. Bob, oh. I want to talk to you alone. When I wrote it, I thought I had a hit. Yeah, I know. You meant it sweet, but it comes out sour. And that ain't all. The band has no pep, can't get in the groove. Oh, maybe we ought to take the number out of the show. She can never sing it with you. It's still a good number, Sammy. Hey, maybe you could fix it up so I can sing it alone. No, it's strictly a boy and girl number. Sammy, boy meets girl. Rita, baby, are you an answer to a soldier's prayer? Well, don't jump at conclusions. I've simply been assigned here to the USO. Well, that's great. It all fits in. Saying, do we need you for our show? But, Bob... But nothing. Come on. Gee, I've missed you, Rita. Sammy! Rita! I'm a success. Look, I know you and Bob can put it over. Oh, no, Sammy. You mean Bob and Miss Van Arsdale. Oh, let's not go into that. Why don't you and Bob get together? Rita, please, can't you get off that green-eyed monster? Honestly, she means nothing to me. How you talk, Mr. Reynolds. Okay. You want me to prove it right here in front of everyone? You wouldn't dare. Oh, no? Well, now I know I'm forgiven. Is all this part of the show? Uh, well, of course, Captain. Uh, this is the way we get into our number, you know. Fight and make up with a song. I see. Well. You, you see, sir, we get into the song and then we, uh, we start. Uh, Rita, let's sing it for the captain. Certainly we'll sing it for him. Darling. The downbeat, maestro. Must have priorities on your love. That's one thing I've got to be certain of. Oh, honey, in love or war, you need defense, and you must do your part. And even though it don't make sense, I'll build a fence around your heart. I must have priorities on your love. My only ally is the moon above. Now you've got lips to lend and leave. But I won't have a moment's peace until I get priorities hey. on your love. By the lady. How dare you? Must have priorities on your love. I shoot up for that. Oh, I hear you talking to me. That's one thing I've got to be certain of. Well, honey. You needn't fear, I'll be right here to answer all along. And if you're the one in trouble, hon, give me a call, a call to all. I must have priorities on your night. Okay by me, and I will put that in our bill of rights. Oh, without you near my spirit's gone. I just can't cash and carry on Until, until I, I get, get priorities on your love Pretty baby I must have priorities on your love How you doing, Keith? You said it with your mouth full. Boy, you were great. Thanks. I'm sorry maybe the band wasn't as good as it should be, but... Oh, it was perfect. No, it wasn't too good. Oh, Sammy, you're crazy. It was fine. Well, we're all set now, especially that we've got Rita. We can't miss. You seem pretty sure of yourself, Private Reynolds. How do you like this for the toy night? Cute, huh? I like it. 
Mission you went after? No. And let's not talk about it. Oh, I'm sorry. I see you had to go for it. Why shouldn't I? Everyone can help. It isn't important to get a commission. We're all in this together, from General MacArthur and Uncle Joe Stillwell down to the last private in the rear rank. Meaning Bob Reynolds, I suppose. No, I wasn't thinking of Bob. I meant you. What, are you in the recruiting service, too? Well, count me out. I offered my services. On your terms? Of course. Well, at least you tried in your own way. Better luck next time. Thanks. I'm doing a show, and I'll have to rush to rehearsal. Well, may I drop you off? You wouldn't enjoy yourself, Gil. This is a show for soldiers down at camp. Oh, well. Look me up after the war. When uniforms are a dime a dozen. Another uniform. They told me at his hotel that I'd find Mr. Whitney here. I'm Mr. Whitney. Telegram for you, sir. Thank you. Here you are. Thank you, sir. Probably from Washington. Maybe it's about your commission. What's the matter, Gil? From Berlin, Rome, and Tokyo, we have been described as a nation of weaklings, playboys, who would hire British soldiers or Russian soldiers or Chinese soldiers to do our fighting for us. Let them repeat that now. Let them tell that to General MacArthur and his men. Let them tell that to the sailors who today are hitting hard in the far waters of the Pacific. Let them tell that to the boys in the flying fortresses. Let them tell that to the Marines. Gee, I felt as though he was speaking to me personally. Yeah, so did the rest of us. It's 130 million of us. And what an inspiration for a song I got. And Bob, you're going to sing it in the show. Well, dress rehearsal's tomorrow. You'll never have time to write it and make an arrangement for the band. And... Listen, in times like these, even us daffy songwriters have to double and triple production. Leave it to me. Okay, Sammy. Keep them singing. Yes. Sir. Yes, dear. Well, we're down here at the camp. We're entertaining. Well, we're entertaining soldiers. Oh, let's not argue, honey. Well, I'm too busy now. Goodbye. Goodbye, dear. Hello, Lou. Oh, hello, Charlie. Glad to see you. Hiya, fella. Oh, you're a sight for sore eyes. How do you like that? From a chocolate soldier to a corporal. Great stuff. Thanks, Lou. After all, soldiering is like the show business. A fella's always got his eye on a bigger part. What, do you want to be a general? Well, right now, I'm understudying a sergeant's role. Oh, tough guy. Goodbye, grease paint. Hello, gunpowder. I love you. Me? The title for a song, Lou. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bob. Bob, come here. Bob, you ought to know Lou Pollock. Lou oh, Pollock. Hello, Why, he's one of Tin Pan Alley's greatest songwriters. Oh, <laughs> What's the matter, Frank? Why so downhearted? Come on over here, meet Lou Pollock. Hi, Frank. How do you do? Could I speak to you a minute, please? Yeah, sure. Bob, I... I... Well, do you think there's any truth to the rumor that we're leaving for overseas? Well, Frank, we've got a job to do. When we're ordered to go, we'll go, and we'll do a grand job, too. And look here, Frank. One of the first things a soldier has to learn is to deal with rumors. Don't spread them. Don't listen to them, Frank. Don't tolerate them. And hey, kid, here's something we should all hear. Zip your lip. Let it go, John. 
Hear a words we never heard before. Commandos, blackouts, chiefs, they're products of the war. There's a brand new military slang. When they want secrecy, here's how they tell the gang. Sit your lip, you may let something slip. Something that's liable to be of use to the enemy. Zip your lip, you may reveal a tip. A shot in the dark, an idle remark, may lose a plane or ship. If you have a boy in uniform, you should be very proud. If you happen to know where he is to go, don't dare to say it out loud. Just zip your lip, it's time we all get hit. Remember, it's a war we're in, and if you want to see us win, just zip, zip, zip your lip. Zip your lip, you may let something slip. Something that's liable to be of use to the enemy. Zip your lip. You may reveal a tip. A shot in the dark, an idle remark, may lose a plane or ship. If you have a boy in uniform, you should be very proud. If you happen to know where he is to go, don't dare to say it out loud. Just zip your lip. It's time we all get hit. Remember, it's a war we're in. And if you want to see us win, just zip, zip, zip. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thanks, Corporal. I'll never forget that. Good boy, soldier. That's fine. Buck up, Buck Private. That's a spirit, Frank. I would have never believed it. It ain't so. What ain't so? That ain't music. That's nothing but a bunch of hand tracks. Oh, I get it. You're writing a song about a turkey in a store, huh? Genius. And we've been rehearsing all afternoon. The band knows it all right, but I... But what? It sounds great to me, Sammy. Oh, I don't know. It just doesn't sound so hot. Oh, you're crazy. Why, it's the biggest hit since Yankee Doodle. Yeah, Sammy, you're just being modest. Thanks, but I'm telling you, something's missing. Oh, you mean Gil? Could be. Why, Gil! Hey, Gil, why, this is terrific. Oh, I and in uniform. You That's right. Gail, I'm proud of yeah. you. Boss. Hello, Sammy. Oh, Hello, home week. Boy, are we glad to see you. Sammy's missed you terribly. Well, I really don't know what to say. Say it with music. Fine. Hey, fellas, Gil. It's Gil Whitney. Hey, oh, fellas, hey. here he is. Oh, yeah. How are you, Gil? How are you? Oh, yeah. How are you? Oh, yeah. How are you? Oh, yeah. How's Sammy again? My, he must be a general. He used to be a general nuisance. But he's finding out now that maybe he ain't such a bad guy after all. Yeah, he ain't a bad guy after all. Oh, I see. She sees. By the way, Mrs. Van Erdale, uh, I don't see your daughter Vicky around. Yeah, where's Vicky? Oh, poor little dear, she has such a headache. She's got a headache. Yeah, and I bet it's wearing a uniform. And like I tell you, Gil, we got a wow of a show. All it needs is you to take the band over. But I don't deserve it, Sammy. You've been all too decent to me, and I just can't barge in on you now. It's your show and your band. Oh, I'm nothing but a two-pit songwriter. The band wants you. Come on, kid. I'll put him in the groove, Gil. It's Sammy's new song, and Bob's gonna sing it. Well, it doesn't make any sense after... This is a new deal, Gil. Oh, but I... after the heel I've been to all of you, don't talk about past history. Make it. Give us a downbeat, Maestro Militaire. Well, I'll try. This nation is united as it never was before. 130 million strong are we. Nobody can deny we all see our a 
there's a man-sized job for those who still are free to spread for freedoms over land and sea. We have the solemn vow of Franklin D. There will be no black of democracy. Marvelous, marvelous. What a combination, you and Bob. Toot your own horn, Sammy. And plenty loud, too, kid. What a song. Yeah, but it took you to put it over. Oh, I think the three of you made the team. Well, every team must have a good luck charm. Rita, you're elected. And by a landslide. She must be a Democrat. Young man, <laughs> you don't fool me. I know you. You're Gil Whitney. That's right. I used to dance to your music. You mean up north? Yes. Oh, look, would you do me just the teensy-weensy little favor, please? A teensy-weensy little favor? OK, oh. give it to her. Of course, certainly, madam. Oh, you're so nice. Please play something sweet and soulful so I can dance with my little butchie. I'm her butchie. It's a good idea, Gil. And there are a lot of other Jack and Jills who'd like to dance to Gil Whitney's music. Do we want to dance? Yeah. We yeah. want to dance. Come on, Gil. Come on, Gil. Okay, okay. I'm all ready. We've got orders to move. Report to your barracks and get your stuff together. Oh, Butchie. Oh, stop crying. You want us to win the war, don't you? Yes. I'm the guy that can do it, too. And if you're a good little girl, I'll bring you back a trophy for your home in South Hampton. The men are ready to leave, sir. Very good. And thanks for all you've done. It's too bad about the show, but after all... Oh, that's all right, sir. We're going to the greatest show on Earth. They're all yours, Sergeant. Men, prepare to fall in. Captain, may we use the finale of show for an exit? That's a good idea. Thank you, sir. 